Hi everybody, welcome to the dive brief in today's no. Hi everybody, welcome to the deep dive. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how is best, or at least how I like to leak test my dry suit. Because let's face it, we're all digging our scuba diving equipment out because we can go scuba diving again. Um, but you, you put it on, it still fits, thank goodness. Um, but when you actually jump in the water, you suddenly realize there's a cold trickle where there shouldn't be a trickle. Uh, or at the end of the dive, you come out and your socks are a bit wet. Uh, so your dry suit has a leak, and they do from time to time. Sometimes it's down to user error. Uh, if you move your neck around too much, sometimes it could leak around the seal. But in a lot of cases, it can just be wear and tear or an actual puncture. So let's take a quick look at how to leak test your dry suit and try and find that pesky leak. Now I use what I call the positive pressure test, which basically means inflating your dry suit uh, and then looking for leaks. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a leak solution, something that can find a leak. And it's basically a just soapy water in a spray bottle, really. Uh, all you have to do is find an old spray bottle, clean it out thoroughly, make sure there's nothing nasty left inside, fill it up with water, just put a touch of washing up detergent or something that's not gonna damage your suit, give it a good shake, and that is now your leak detector spray. Once you have your leak detector spray, now you have to inflate your dry suit, which means that you have to plug some holes. The most notable ones are both of your cuff seals and your neck seal. So for my neck seal, I tend to use an old bin, something a bit larger than my neck, but also tapered as well. If it's tapered, it means that when you put it in, it's gonna stay in position because as soon as you inflate, that's gonna be pushing it out and you don't want it to push all the way out. So something a bit bigger than your neck, but obviously not so big that you're stretching your neck seal too much that you could damage it. For the cuff seals, try and use like a, a drinks can or something. I tend to use uh, the big bottles of WD-40. That way, again, it's a little bit bigger than my wrist, uh, but it does fit down the sleeves and it seals neatly against it. Do be careful at this stage. It's best to actually check the uh, the seals all the way around, look for any kind of wear or damage, because if you do stretch them too much and there is damage, it could split the entire seal. So do be very, very careful when you're putting it on. When you've done this, check that both the inflator valve and the deflator valve are done up nice and tight. They're two parts, one on the inside of the suit, one on the outside, and they both basically screw together. So just make sure that they're just a little more than finger tight. If they can undo really easily, that could actually be the source of your leak. So just make sure that they're done up nice and tight and they're not the cause of the leak. After that, do your zipper up nice and tight. Make sure that's airtight. Close the auto dump on your left hand shoulder. You wanna make sure that's screwed all the way in. And now you can inflate your dry suit. So connect your low pressure inflator hose and then in a big open area because it's gonna inflate like a human sized balloon, just press that inflator button until it's kind of taut, but not completely because otherwise you're gonna to start to stress out some of the seams. So just inflated enough that you get a decent amount of bounce. Once you've inflated your dry suit, make sure that everyone in the local area knows exactly what you're doing so they don't see a beheaded body in your garage. Just let them know that you're leak testing your dry suit. But now you wanna go over it with your leak detector spray. So spraying along all of the seams on the top and the bottom, all over the panels, because no matter where you think the leak might be coming from. Okay, you might be getting wet down your right hand side, below your rib cage. That doesn't necessarily mean that's where the water is coming in. It might be coming in over your left hand shoulder, traveling through between two bits of material down the seam, and then finally actually making its way into your suit down there. So leak test the entire suit, head to toe, all of the seams, all of the panels, and then just look for any bubbles. The leak detector spray, because it's got that washing up detergent in it, is going to bubble when air is trying to escape. So if you see a few bubbles, that's fine. If you see a steady stream of bubbles that just continually creates new bubbles, that there is a leak. If it's just a few bubbles after you spray, that's kind of normal. It is when they're continuous. And if you wanna check, then press that inflate button again. If they come out even faster, that is your leak. 
The next thing that you need to do is mark that location because it's very easy to walk away from it, come back to it and forget exactly where it was. So try and have a piece of chalk or an old crayon to hand and then really obviously draw around it. It'll wash off, don't worry. So it makes it really obvious that when you actually come to repair it exactly where that leak is. Now that you found the leak, continue for the rest of the suit because there might be more than one. Uh, so just keep going head to toe, make sure you've done all of the suit. When you found all of the leaks and you've marked them all, now you can deflate it and start getting to fixing them. If it's a simple pinhole somewhere in the middle of a big open panel, these are really easy. Get a torch, put it on the inside underneath. And if you can see the light shining through, that's a really quick and easy um, leak to uh, to fix. You just patch it and make sure that's nice and clean. If you have to redo one of the seams, it takes a bit more work, but it's definitely worthwhile. If you don't really know what you're doing, as long as you've marked up all of the locations, just take it to your local dive center and they can fix it for you. So that's how I like to leak test my dry suit. That's my positive pressure test because you're putting a positive pressure on the inside of the suit. The gas is always wanting to escape. And if you spray it down with a soapy solution, you should start to see some bubbles coming out and that will point you to exactly where that leak is. If you do it in a slightly different way, then by all means, let us know how you do it down in the comments below. There's a few different methods, but this is my preferred method. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And of course, safe diving. Thank you.